Life is hard. It really is. But you can do it. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, just know that you can do it. In this video, I'm going to read an email I received from a viewer here on the channel. His name is Luis, and he's from Brazil, and he's 33 years old. And the subject of his email is too many interesting subjects for a messy mind. So if you have any advice after I read this message, leave a comment. It helps others and maybe you can help him. This email is very, very recent. Okay, I'm gonna read the message in its entirety because I feel like he's experiencing something that applies to everyone, including myself. Greetings, Mr. Sorcerer, how you doing? I'm Luis, a 33-year-old man, Brazilian, and I am turning around on my own pivot a long time. Studying is one of the things that I really love to do, but I rarely finish a subject because every time I look around, I find something else more exciting. I have a psychology degree, but ironically, I don't like psychology. I have my main knowledge is computer science. However, even in computer science, I have no focus. Everything is extremely exciting. I already have a solid general knowledge, but I do not know anything deeply, which makes me unable to find a job. Could you enlighten me with a glimpse of your wisdom? Thank you for your attention and your great job, Luis. Yes, I, I do have some advice. So first, let me just say that your, your experience is a common one. And it's one that I've heard people complain about. I've, I've known people in my life that have said, oh, I just have so many interests. There's so many things I like to do. I, I can't decide on what I want to do. But there's a difference between things you like to do and things you're going to do for work. Un unfortunately, you know, it, a lot of times people love something and they really want to do that for work, but it's not practical for whatever reason. Maybe it just doesn't pay enough money and they just their quality of life is not gonna be good. Maybe in the area that they live in and they have to live in that area for some reason, um, doesn't have jobs and they're not willing to move. You know, there's a variety of reasons that, you know, people can't do what they love. But if you really like something, I do believe that it's possible and, and you shouldn't give up and you should try. Because for most of us, work is one of those realities of life, right? We have to go to work every day. Every day we get up and we have to do some task to make money because we have to eat, right? We have to pay bills, right? So it's a part of life. I'm gonna say that your ability to get excited about multiple things is a positive thing. And for anyone out there watching this video, if you're like Luis and you have this problem where you just get excited about too many things, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's good. I think it's good to get excited about things. I'm the same way. I have so many interests, mathematics, finance, exercise. I mean, I, I have a lot of varied interests and it's, it's really tough, right? It's tough to find out, you know, where to spend uh, the majority of my time. And it's easy to spend too much time on certain things because I have so many interests. But let's go back to you. In the real world, if you have varied interests and you, you get excited about lots of things, it's hard to focus on one thing. And the reality is you do need to focus on one thing in order to find a job. You talked about computing science. My advice would be this, start looking at jobs, which maybe you have been, and find out what skills those jobs require. And then make sure that you can train yourself to get good at those skills, right? So if the job requires skills X, Y, Z, get skills X, Y, Z. As a concrete example, and this is a very good example because this can actually apply to anyone watching this video. I have a friend, she was looking for a job because she didn't like her current job, she wasn't making enough, uh, it just wasn't what she wanted. 
So she took some, some training, uh, it was a Salesforce training, and she was able to get a job really quickly, making over six figures a year. Now she does have a bachelor's degree, I, I don't know in what, but with the training and a couple of years of retail experience and a four-year degree, she was able to get a six-figure job, just like that. Is that something that she wanted her whole life, you know, to be like a Salesforce guru? That was her passion when she was a kid? Probably not. You know, I don't think 10-year-olds say, oh, when I grow up, I want to be, uh, you know, I want to get my Salesforce certification and, and, and go work for, you know, company XYZ. No, people don't, don't have those dreams. But that's the reality of the world, right? And I think that if you start looking at these jobs and you start finding out what they require and focus on those skills, I think they can help you. And then continue to have your enthusiasm, right? On your days off, during your times of self-study, you know, pick up that math book, you know, Basic Mathematics uh, by Lang, great book, or, or pick up that computer science book and indulge, right? Pleasure your mind. So that's my advice. Uh, look for whatever those jobs are looking for and, and get those skills. It's not easy though, that's the thing. Like, you know, you look at these jobs and you look at these skills and you're like, oh, what is that? And then you Google it and you try to learn it and you realize that, hey, it's a pretty big task. But basically you need to have those skills and somehow you need to quantify those skills and create experience for yourself. You might have to take some non-standard approaches in order to do that. A, a lot of jobs require experience and if you don't have that experience, it, it's really hard you know, to prove that you have it. You know, I, ha I had a friend who uh, applied for a programming job once and they asked him what he was doing. And he told him, told him that he was working on uh, a video game he was making. It was an EverQuest clone. And the guy's like, well, can you have it? Can you show it to me today? So he went home, he got it, he brought it back, he showed him everything. And, and he got the job because he proved to this person that he had programming experience. He had projects that he had done on his own. So the same applies to whatever skills you're trying to acquire. If you can somehow acquire those skills and somehow quantify the fact that you've learned them, whether it be through a certificate or through a portfolio of things you've created, that's what you need to do. And that's, that's how you can further progress in your life. Anyways, kind of a, a long-winded video, but focus on those job skills and that will help you. Does anyone else have advice for Lewis? Does anyone else feel like their mind has too many things uh, going on? Are you interested in too many things? If you do, leave a comment below. Also, if you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on my website, uh, mathsorcer.com or freemathvids.com. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, just check them out. I have courses on algebra, calculus, etc. They're actually on the Udemy platform, but if you buy them, please use the links uh, from my website as it helps me greatly. So they're legit courses. My website isn't very good, but they're legit. When you click the links, it does take you to Udemy um, and you can learn some mathematics. But yeah, hopefully this video has helped someone out there. Good luck. Keep doing mathematics.